Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 15 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You sure you don't want sugar? You know, do it inside. This song goes by too fast. <laughs> it really does. I mean, Hana, dang. But that's really what every student hopes. I mean, hey, but he look good though. <laughs> You can't just go ahead and just ask you like a casual conversation. You gotta give us like 
the atmosphere, the element of surprise. <laughs> That's the middle finger right there, honestly. <laughs> you gotta love Thank you. Thank you, Toru.
right? Time yeah. as well. That's not fair. Yeah, but just because you don't, I mean, he's saying he's, I want him to say something.
cute. I am uh, come to save his brother. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. But you did just as well. But it's the truth, though. No, you can't. You don't have to do that. Yeah, your mother is a bitch.
I still don't like his mom. I'm just saying. I mean, it, it's going to take time. This was the first step in the right direction for their relationship. But like I said, it's really going to take some time between him and his mom to better. I mean, like, thank God him and Aya are, like, so much better than they were in the beginning of this show slash series at the same time. Because I remember watching the original and, like, thinking that they never would have been able to, like, move on and move forward. But then, like, you know, like manga and it's like that. But if it's hope, like, if there's hope for him and Aya, then there's hope for him and his mom. Like I said, it takes time. So, yeah. But this is a good episode. Really for everybody, but this is another Yuki Focus episode and I loved it. I mean, it, it's kind of suck. It sucks because, um, Kyo was barely, was barely in this episode. He had maybe, like, less than five minutes of a scene, but, and so I'm hoping maybe next week he gets a little bit more of a focus, but, like, you see how he looked before and was like, yeah, we're going to eat this together. And how he, like, he got angry for one second and then he was all happy. Like, I can't. I gotta love him so much. Like, uh, it's too much, my heart. Like, I wasn't ready for all this, but I, like, you know, I thought it was going to be a really sad episode. I thought I was going to cry. No. But still, it was good. Oh, my God. I have nothing to say about that. Like, oh my god. So, you know, <laughs> it would be nice. Like, I've always wanted this, like, ever since I watched the original series first. We just have, like, a day in life of Hot City. I have to check for, like, one episode just to see them do, like, really dumb things. Hot City is dealing with, like, I have to check bullshit. <laughs> Like, you know, I mean, you gotta feel for Hot City, though, because, like, I mean, sometimes you feel like Hot City is just gonna go off on those two one day, and you're just gonna be like, like, oh, I wasn't expecting that, but at the same time, I was like, oh, it's coming. <laughs> but, I mean, mm, it would be nice <laughs> just to have, like, that one little moment of a day in his life with these three idiots, we're like, hmm. Oh, God, but this is just a really good episode. I'm glad that Hana and Uo were in this as well, because, of course, this is talking about everyone's futures and what they're going to be doing for the rest of their lives and such. And so it was nice, because, like, I mean, and I'm going to say this to be a little truthful, because between um, the first half of the second season towards this, the start, little teeny tiny bit of the second half, um, Hana and Uo really more of Hana. Hana had, like, no, Uo, wrong person, wrong person, because Hanajima is my, my, the darkness of queen, right there. Um, Uo had, like, just one episode with What's-His-Face, so I'm guessing, like, I, I, like, the biggest thing that I want for the second half of this is for Hanajima, best girl, the queen of darkness, I'm just saying, she needs to have another episode. I, that's what I really want. I think there's a moment, where, like, I don't really remember. I'd have to go back and look um, where she has a focus, a dedicated focus episode or a chapter on her. I don't really remember. But, I mean, I need that again because I just feel like she's been placed, like, on the, like, the sideline. I mean, Uo had her episode and this is, like, kind of not really part two, but just, like, even though this is either, like, Toru Yugi's and Kyo's episode, you still get an interaction or, like, a development with... Hanajima and Uo, but you're still wanting those center episodes focusing on those two as big characters and their personal stories and what they're currently going through as of right now. I mean, I'm just saying, that's just me. I, I know there's probably a lot of people who want it just as much as I do, if not more, but um, I mean, you gotta take it day by day. It's one episode at a time, but still. That's what I just want at the end of the day. I mean, this episode was just really good, and I'm glad that we were able to see a little bit more on Yuki's past with his mom, and to have the possibility to have a better relationship at the end of the day. But honestly, really, who knows? 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to <laughs> towards episode 15 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 16. Bye, guys.